you know, he's played, he's had a heck of a game, but he's only touched the ball six times. So, uh, it's, you know, I know it's hard because you're trying to get back in the game, you're trying to get the ball off the court as quickly as possible so that you can cut that lead down. But at, at the same time, you got to know that this guy's having a heck of a game, and let's get the ball to him. And Brian Ammoning with 10 points and six rebounds. Let's get another look at... Uh, Vucevic at the other end, keeping it alive the first time. Lewis goes inside. Who's there? Vucevic. Uh, the big guy's having a heck of a game. He, he's made his presence felt, and he hasn't done it just by scoring. He's done it by keeping the ball alive and helping his teammates. Great example, Lenny, of what can happen just going from a freshman to becoming a sophomore. He averaged just under three points and just under three rebounds. Obviously, the young man went to work in the offseason and came back to make an impact, and he has. Playing time gives you confidence, yep. and confidence once lets you know that you belong out there, and then all of a sudden you want to play more. So the challenge is certainly a significant one for this Husky team that has lost only once at home this season, a 16-1 home court record, but SC playing its tempo up by 14 inside of 10 minutes left. And the Huskies delivering some full core pressure. Not only trying, I think, obviously to get the steal, but to try to get tempo. Yeah, trying to get SC to maybe react in a way that they would like. Yeah, and, and you know, and, and that's something that, you, you know, you, you want that done early in the game. Because, you, like you said, you want to get your tempo goal. You want to put the other team in a rush situation where they come down and they're going to make bad decisions. And here's SC with a shot clock at five. We've been working it down. Good look for Lewis and a terrific result. But Dwight Lewis now has 20 points. And a great screen by Vucevic. I mean, he made it a great screen. Well, you know, here again, I'm talking about Brian and Manning, right? Very we athletic move. The ball. <laughs> leads the Huskies with 12 points. Good job by Garrity, seeing the court, finding Lewis. Again, the Trojans will spread the floor. Dante Smith is checked in, so two point guards on the court right now for the Trojans. Johnson inside. He draws the offensive foul and shook his head, yep. He got me on that one. Good job by Justin Holliday. Drawing the contact. Yeah, that was a good defensive play. And, and you know, you always tell your, your players, never put yourself in the air unless you're going to shoot the ball. Uh, that, that's tough. And uh, that was great defense by the Huskies. Now, let's make it pay. Let's come down and see if we can score. Third foul on Johnson. Lucevic heading to the USC bench. Leonard Washington returning to the lineup. With a lineup of Roy Overton, Chrissy Hondes, Justin Holiday, Matthew Bryan, Amening is over to find the landing finishes. And also lost to Turner on the court right now for the Huskies, who again deliver full court pressure. Well, the Huskies gave USC a little taste of their own medicine. They went to a 1 4 that time, and Benoit was able to penetrate and get to the basket. Inside of eight minutes to go here in the second half. Garrity guarded by Holiday. Strong off the glass. Matthew Bryan Ammoning to Overton. Bates. Lost the ball. Marcus Johnson in the front court for USC, and he will throw it down. They're opening up the floor. It's, it's kind of called an open type offense where you put the man with the ball at the top and hope that someone comes and helps in here. A little bit out of control and good defense by the Huskies. So they were there. They didn't reach and they made sure that they were in position to force a turnover. Fallon Johnson, that is his fourth. But a night for Dwight Lewis. He's the big reason why USC leads by 12. Thank you. 